Oh, let's get involved, eh? Oi, oi, how's it going? Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to the channel, Amateur Angler here. And today is a miserable day, but it's warming time. So I'm just using my lunch, a little bit of lunch uh, break to pop out to see if I can get a couple of warmers to scoff my face later. So I'll see you down there. There you are, see that tractor there? It's off to Liu Island. That's how they get from A to B, using the tractor. You can only do it at certain times because all this will be covered up. But today guys, going all run today. It's not the best of days, a bit windy. I've got the lobster mate at 3,000. And my hook, let's see what we can get. Pretty windy, it's nice to be down here. And uh, I just found one underneath this rock. Here we go. There we are, obviously a baby one, so I can't take that. They've got to be 80, 80 millimeters. Look, there's a little crabby there. Get his own back. Look at that. That's a, a brittle starfish there. Pretty cool. There's, there's Mama, or there's Papa. The way they move. <laughs> Get it back. Oh, boom! Look at that. That's there. That's definitely one. Let's give that a quick measure. This is my 83. Oh, that's well in. That's well in. This gauge is 83 millimeters, so I'm gonna get my bag. And that one's going straight on my stomach. One armor down, beautiful. Well, that's a fun little trip in my lunch break. So I got one armor, that's my tea for tonight. So I'll see you later in the kitchen. So that was a pretty windy day. Um, I've got my one warmer, which I'm just going to dispatch by using a spoon, get right underneath the foot, take it away from the shell, and I'm gonna cut off the guts and the, the little mouth by using a knife. And then I'm just basically gonna let it soak in this tub with loads of this in. I'm gonna leave that soak for about 24 hours, so it'll be a lot easier to scrub it. So I'll get on with that now. I'm gonna get the spoon, get it right underneath there, right underneath the foot. It is quite tough. And there we are. That's popped off. Just clean that up. Should we clean the shell up? Some people like to keep these, make things out of them. We just got them as ornaments at the moment, but. You can see what kind of effect, the mother of pearl effect, they call it. Right then, so a bit of water in here. I've got my warmer. I find with this, the centre bit tastes like a scallop. It's like 10 or ten times scallop. And then the outside tastes a bit like bacon to me, but we'll see, see again. So I'm going to put that in there with some bicarbonate of soda. And I'll leave that overnight. And you'll find that when you use the green scrubber or anything to scrub it, it'll be a, a lot easier. Do a test now, so that's straight off the bat. In fact, that's not too too bad. It's not too bad, but I've done it now, so I'm going to leave it in there and uh, we'll cook that tomorrow. Oh. Well, there we have it. We've got the shell, we've got the armor, and we've got the guts, and this is frozen armor guts from before, so I'm gonna use this as bait, just add it into my little tub, get the lid back on, straight back into the freezer, use that in the future. This can go in the fridge. That can go in the fridge and just uh, do its thing until tomorrow, and I'll have that on my tea. 
Right then, we're the next day, and there's my Orma in there. So I'm gonna give that a scrub, and I'm gonna tenderize it with this thing. I'm gonna put some flour over the Orma and get some oil into the pan, and just give it a fry for about three minutes. So hopefully it's not too chewy. I find these edges quite tough, so I'm going to give them a little bit extra. There we are, one Orma. So that should be nice and hot. Here's my flowered Orma, a few minutes. And see how that tastes. Okay, let's see how this is going. Oh, it's looking lovely and golden. Let's see the other side. See how this turns out. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I don't think uh, it's looking too good. I thought it was, but let's see how it goes. I'm not too sure at the moment, guys, if that's uh, good or not. I really don't know. This is a proper experiment. I might even cut that in half. I mean, look. <laughs> it looks edible. Let's see it. Okay, last of the tomato sauce. Some for luck. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. There we have it. One very dodgy looking warmer burger. I don't know, let's give it a go, eh? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really looking forward to this. I thought it turned out a bit better than this, but I wanted to try Orma just as it was, really, and then try and gradually grow and add different ingredients in. But um, we'll give it a go. Someone said to me tomato sauce, I tried it in the shed, my mouth is watering now, but. I did try it on a live, I use sweet chilli sauce, hot sauce and tomato sauce and for me the um, tomato sauce tastes best. Anyway, let's get, let's get on it. Hmm. That's robbery as hell. And very chewy. Might mess this one up, guys. Hmm. Oh, that bit's okay. I find the the fat bit of the Orma, the middle bit, 
is fine. It's the outer side. I'm, I'm not quite doing something correct there. It's still got that, that weird taste. I'm not too sure what it is. So I have my almonds falling out, so I need to put it back on. That was the chewy bit. Eh? Do you know what? I need more practice with that. I need to catch more almonds and, and get it down to final art because that isn't. Um, People can't rant and rave about that, so I'm doing something wrong. So I shall learn. Luckily, the wife's gone to the chippy, but I don't know. I haven't done a, I haven't done it justice there. It's too rubbery. I don't know if I didn't batter it down enough, or if I didn't cook it long enough. But um, people can't rant and rave over that. Well, that's how not to cook them, really. So I've learnt that. Um, always learning, always improving. So if you can improve yourself by 1%, um, even if you learn and have fun, then you've won. So um, I've learned. I had fun on this video. If you did, hit the like button, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you want to. Check out our lives as well. I like to do quite a few lives. And um, we'll just get bigger and stronger. Catch you next time. Have a good